Question number 16A, state the meaning of the term heat capacity. Uh, so we say heat capacity, uh, it, uh, so we can say it is the amount of energy required to raise to raise uh, the temperature the temperature of a given mass by uh, one unit so that is uh, that is this is one unit so that is how we describe the heat capacity it is the amount of energy required to raise the temperature of a given mass by one unit uh, then part b state how pressure affects the melting point of a substance so we say pressure was uh, say pressure uh, this is uh, uh, double s pressure uh, that is pressure rho as this is R uh, the melting point of a substance so when a substance is under pressure uh, the melting point rho as, uh, becomes rho or rho is lower than the normal melting point. So that's how you answer that question. Part C of this question, figure 7 shows a setup of apparatus that may be used to measure the specific latent heat of vaporization of steam. Uh, so we have our, our setup here. We have the heater, we have the water, uh, here we have the, the, the beaker, we have condensed uh, here we have water cold water coming in and water getting out we have a stopwatch and we have the source of energy that is uh, uh, the the uh, the the connection of uh, uh, the uh, the heater we have the voltmeter the amid uh, the ammeter so roman number one describe how the mass of condensed steam is uh, de determined so to determine the mass of uh, the condensed steam what you do is you measure the uh, the mass of the empty be uh, beaker so we can say uh, we can say measure uh, mass of the empty beaker Uh, this beaker here and then we have uh, uh, you measure the mass of the beaker with the condensed uh, steam uh, so this one you can call it uh, mass one uh, let's call it this mass one so you measure uh, mass of that is mass of uh, the beaker Uh, with the condensed steam uh, which we call we can call M2 so mass of condensed uh, mass of condensed uh, steam can be calculated by getting the measurement of the beaker and the uh, condensed steam you minus mass of the beaker which is m1 so that is how you do that so roman number two other than mass and time state two other measurements that should be taken during the experiment so the other two measurements that uh, uh, should be taken are we can say a we can say voltage uh, or we can say voltmeter reading uh, we can say B the other one is current uh, or we can say ammeter reading uh, ammeter 
think here is double M ammeter reading. So this is the ammeter, this is the voltmeter, so we need to uh, get those measurements. So that is how you answer that question. Uh, let's look at the next part. Part 3 of the question, we are told, show how the measurement in C, uh, Roman number 2, can be used to determine the specific uh, latent heat of vaporization of water. Uh, so looking at the setup, we can say uh, the energy absorbed by water from heater is equal to energy absorbed by water to, vap to evaporate. So let us put that down. Uh, so we can say energy... Uh, absorbed uh, by water uh, from the heater is equals to heat absorbed heat absorbed uh, by water to evaporate Uh, so I hope that is clear because uh, we are assuming that there is no loss of energy. So we can say uh, we can say heat energy. Uh, this is uh, this is uh, heat energy. Uh, energy is equals to we can say it is power multiply by time and how do we calculate power it is voltage multiply by current and you multiply by time meaning this is equals to v i t so that is clear so with that uh because we are revising i'm just going to uh clear this and then we look at uh, so let's clear that i hope you have uh, understood that and then we we'll say uh, heat absorbed by water by water is equals to uh, mass uh, of water you multiply by latent heat of vaporization latent uh, heat of vaporization uh, so with that we can say which we can represent it is mrv which implies that v i t that is the energy uh, heat energy which we had found v i t is equals to m l and v that is the latent heat of vaporization and therefore we can say the latent heat of vaporization that is rv is equals to we divide both by uh, that is we divide v i t you divide by m so that is how we determine the latent heat of vaporization so if you have if you have if you have the reading of the voltage uh, the current and the time you divide by the mass then you'll be able to get the latent heat of vaporization. So that is how you are supposed to answer that question.